The spirit of the outdoors i want to do a fish cleaning video and i want to show a couple of ways to clean crappie we got some bass we got some brim now everybody knows how to fillet fish for the most part electric fillet knife now y'all for a long time i have been a fan of just old bread knife this thing has filleted a lot of grunnel and a lot of crappie it is probably eight or nine years old probably well maybe not quite that old a good five to six and it has filleted a lot of fish uh, my dad bought this one and i'm not as big on these curved blades but now i'm learning because i got to using this i wanted to get to where if i needed to fillet crappie but i've been playing with doing some filleting and I worked on a knife. Now, this is not a fillet knife. This is a kitchen knife. And I'm not sure. It's like a, I don't know if it's a boning knife. Now, I put me a notch up here. That is for like at the camp, picking a pot up with by the bale off the fire. It'll hang right there. But I made me some scalers along the back. And I made them on the lines of my fish knife. Now, y'all know. I am a fan of this fish knife. I have been pushing these. I just, we got a running joke that I done cornered the market on these. I'd never heard of a fish knife till my buddy Don Lanier messaged me one day and said, you seen one of these knives? I'm looking for one. If you see it, let me know. Well, I found, I, I never found any. So I got on eBay, was looking and you could buy this queen knife for like 19 to 20 dollars so i ordered me one actually i got this one for 17 dollars at smoky mountain knife works smoky mountain i don't think has the queen anymore you can get a rough rider well the rough rider is just the 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 filleting thing is more of a saw than it is a fillet this one you can see it's real smooth and tapered down now i've got a couple of uh, I've got a case that, that Miss Mary sent me. I've got this queen. I've got a imperial, and I have a saber. And, you know, I mean, I fell in love with them. So what I wanted to do, and y'all have seen me already using this fish hook remover, popping them hooks out if, if this is the way to go. And it ain't that it's like a better hook remover than anything else. It's that I've got this in my pocket. If I'm fishing, this is in my pocket. So when I get over there, if I've got a, a real nice hook remover, and I do, I've got some with a grip trigger stick in there. I mean, they're excellent. They're better fish hook removers than this. I said that, okay? It's better than this. But when I need it, it's over yonder in the bag, and I'm over here on the bank with the fish in my hand real. I mean, y'all y'all know the scenario. If you're in the boat, it's over here in the tackle bag. You know, usually I ain't dug that out yet, and... This is in my pocket, and that's why this is better. And, and I always got it, and it works. So what I wanted to do today is show cleaning some fish with it because I hadn't really got down. I had some people tell me, oh, spoon's the way to go. And y'all, <laughs> nothing wrong with using a spoon. I grew up using a spoon. A spoon was the first thing I ever scaled fish with. After the spoon, I went to this thing. And I liked it, y'all. It works good. My problem, only problem with this, this scales wonderfully, takes the scales off. My problem with it is those scales fly everywhere. Well, you see, I'm right in here at my cleaning station in my cleaning shed. Uh, and, you know, my dad built this and put a drain of floor to clean, to clean mainly deer and such as that. But this table and the fillet knives and everything's laying here, big cutting boards. I've got another... Uh, um, I don't know what the material is. It's like ABS type stuff or something. I don't know. Anthony, give it to me. But I got this big, nice cutting board here so I can do all my fish cleaning here. Well, I don't want them scales everywhere. I want them to be able to rake them off in a bucket right here. So 
I'm going to get me a bucket. I've got an ice cream bucket to put my fillets in. I've got some brim. I've got some bass. We've got some crappie. None of them are what we call slabs. I mean, sometimes I call everything a slab. We pretty well know that these are smaller crappie. I took Andrew fishing, and y'all, we struggled to catch some fish today. I think in these smaller bodies of water, they've done done their due. In other words, they've spawned and started backing out. We've had a lot of rain. We've had bad weather, and it's been about two days since the rain, so I figured they would have bit today, but they didn't bite good. So I don't really know what was going on, but we didn't do real good. But we did catch a few fish, and I've been wanting to film this video. Uh, and Because I, I got to studying on cleaning fish a better way. And I really I want to get away from the electric fillet knives because if I go camping somewhere, you always got to have power, and, and I, I can make that happen. Uh, but I want to use knives because I want to design me a fillet knife like this and and show you why i want the scaler on the back flay on the top so let me get a fish reset the camera up we're gonna clean a few fish all right y'all so we got a crappie and he's probably barely 10 inches long oh uh, and i don't know that this knife i have actually only skimped a few with this knife so what you do is uh you go under this fin and you cut at an angle right here and then take your knife and you can feel these fillet, them, I mean, them ribs. And see, with this, you can, once you get past the ribs right here, now, I, I didn't, I'm not going to take credit. I've seen another old boy do this, y'all, okay? And I just thought it was the greatest thing because I'd never seen it. All right, I'm going to stop right there. And I'm going to take my time, y'all. I did discover that you could do it pretty fast once you got the hang of it. And this is a small crappie, so I'm going to lose some meat with him that I really wouldn't, well, because the meat ain't there, in other words. Okay, and then see, you back down to here, and the ribs is still right there. There's no ribs in this, and you got what meat comes down here. So with a, a big slab hand-sized fillet, you're going to get everything. So now I'm going to pull this over the edge of my table. And if you want to scale it, slam off, you can do that as well. But y'all, once you get practiced up, I'm I'm honestly, you can just about get that fillet out right there as fast as I can with these electric fillet knives. I, I'm not kidding. I really didn't think that. And the reason I am telling y'all all this is I, I gotta go get me a bucket. But I've struggled to fillet with a hand knife. I can take this electric fillet knife and go bzzz, ribs and everything out down to here, flip it over and bzzz, and but now I usually wind up losing a lot of meat on one side or the other, on especially on these smaller fish. Well, this I, I'm telling y'all, I got all the way down to everything on that. Let me get me a gut bucket. We keep all our gut buckets outside because you know how they get to they get to smelling right. Okay, now next thing I wanted to show you, and we're gonna do this other side a little bit different. Now, my scaler don't work as well as the one on that fish knife. I'm going to be honest with you. But you see with this even, how these scales are all right here, they're not flying all over everywhere. That is the crucial thing about this, okay? Now, I'm going to show you why I wanted the scaler on the back of the fillet knife right here, all right? So I'm going to cut here. I've got to turn around because, y'all, I'm left-handed now. I'm doing everything backwards to me. And I hope my hand, I'm doing the same thing now, y'all. We going in with the tip of my knife. I can take the tip of that knife, and I can feel every one of them real bones, okay? So once I do that, see, I can, you hear them ribs? 
Say I can if you'll shut up. I heard you. I heard you when you said it. I know which one of you it was, too. Y'all didn't know I was that good, did you? All right, now I'm, I'm, this one's backwards, so, and you see them eggs. I say that they had done their do, but y'all, they ain't either. I thought, man, them things had done laid their eggs, but them eggs is still small in these. But now them big ones have probably have done done what they was gonna do. All right, now once I'm cut through over there, I'm gonna do this. Okay, now, I'm gonna have to use this other hand. I'll probably make a mess since I am. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna turn it around. See, now you got a fillet there with the skin on it. And there's a lot of folks, I know some of you may not, but there's a lot of people that, like, man, I like that skin. So uh, I'm gonna try to do some a little, a little more swift. Like I got one here. So what I'm gonna attempt to do is I'm gonna clean one now with my fish knife, okay? And I'm gonna, I wanna, I wanna scale it. And these brim, this is the reason I am not. A, you see how them scales are staying right there and I can rake them right off that fish. Y'all, that is why I love this scaler. This scaler is where y'all I looked up and my dead blame phone had cut off. Uh, storage was full. I didn't film way too much stuff. So we're going to go through this again with this, all right? I had to go get me a gut bucket anyway, throw everything in. I don't know what it filmed and didn't film now. And I don't know what all I'd told y'all. I was all excited of talking. I'm sure it was real important. <laughs> ah. So I, let me get all these scales off. We're gonna go through this all again. And I'm gonna try to do it a little more swift. reason I like this with this brim, and I don't know if y'all heard me say this, if I say it again, y'all know why, um, is my wife don't eat nothing with no bones in there, and I like the skin. Now, I like to fry these little uh, brim completely whole. They are delicious that way, but my wife don't like to pick out bones. I have to watch Brody with bones, so... It's better if I'm cook, cooking fish that don't have no bones because then I can eat and I have to worry about telling them which piece ain't got bones and which one does. You know what I mean, Vern? Uh, and you get faster as you go, but I mean, there is a, a small brim fillet. See if I can do it with the other side. Well, I messed up. There we go. I know what I did wrong. I didn't cut right there first, did I? See, you can take this knife. Once you get the feel of it, well, uh, there we go. I finally got it. I cut into it, but see, I got. Ah. Let's do a little bit better fish. This is probably the best fish we caught, really. Uh, 
I'm gonna see if I can absolutely fillet with this little fish knife. I cut, cut the ribs, but I fixed it. <laughs> okay. See if I can cut this fillet slam out. I have never tried to fillet a fish with this fish knife, so that's what I'm trying to. I lost a little meat trying to do it. I think you're better off with the fillet knife. So let's see what we got here. Come on. I'm not good with this hand at all. But we get to get the whole fillet. Really, what I'm what I'm enjoying about all of this, these smaller fish, I want to scale them and then cut that fillet off. That is what I'm after. So on these crappie, you see, I'll have skin on on my fillets, and that's what I was. I ain't as proficient at it as some boys that's been doing it, this method, over and over and over. And if you got a whole pile of crappie now that you got to clean, you went and you got lucky and just really slaughtered them, are you that good? Which if you that good, you probably ain't learning how to clean fish for me now. I ain't claiming to be an expert. This is a new to me method and I was excited about it and wanted to do a video on it. Does that explain it for you? <laughs> just because 
I wanted you to know how to do it. Be better at it than I am. I'm a little slow. But now, like I said, we're trying to do some, actually some smaller fish than I have to turn him around where I can see, I, I, and that gets me out of the camera, but. And these are small fish, but you see they ain't, you can see through that, y'all, that's transparent. There ain't no meat wasted this way. And this is what we got a bunch of. So, uh, I believe my old scaler's going to work all right, actually. Well, this is a knife I'm probably gonna mainly use to do what I'm doing. I just love that fish knife. I wanted to see what all it do.
I very much like my fish knife. I, I just do. You may not like it as much as I do. That's all right, too. But I like this way of cleaning fish because if I'm scrapping for meat, this is, I get more meat this way. It's a little slower for me until I get practiced up with it. Show y'all how I take care of these boards right here.
Well, y'all, this is my way of cleaning some of these fish that I'm just learning. Now, I have always, I mean, my way of always cleaning fish is I took this and I cut the fillets out. I lost a good bit of meat and I'd cut the ribs off of some of them so that I wouldn't have to pick all of them out. Uh, the bigger the fish is, it seems like the easier it is to do. A lot of these were smaller crappie. So I was scrapping to get the meat off of them, and this, this works good. Now, y'all, you know very well that I am a huge fan of these fish knives. So learning to, to clean your fish with it. Now, brim, a lot of times, nine times out of ten when I'm doing brim, uh, and we'll do this next time when we get a good many brim, is I simply scale them and cut the head off and fry them whole. Because uh, that is the number one way to do especially smaller brim. Now, when you get into some of them big old giant brim, you may cut the fillets out. The electric fillet knife makes filleting things a whole lot faster. So, yeah, if I come up here and there's been two or three of us fishing and we've got 60 fish we need to clean, I'm going to just go to ripping fillets out with electric fillet knife, okay? Uh, I'm not in here trying to argue and tell you, hey, this is the best way to do things. Uh, what I am wanting to show you is when you're dealing with smaller fish, you can get a lot more meat doing it this way and not have no bones to pick through. Now, I mean, a lot of people love to eat the bones. A lot of times when I cut the ribs out of bigger crappie, I'll fry those ribs because I'll eat around them. I don't mind it. Um, but I do it, like I said, because of my wife and because of Brody. They both want to get the... I don't need them digging around bones. Michelle don't, she don't like bones and Brody don't need to. I don't need him to swallow one. So anyway, this is just a, uh, and I probably didn't do a great video y'all on this because honest to God, I'm not that good at this method yet. I just wanted to share it with you before this fishing season is over. I will be good at it because that's the way I'm going to do a lot of these smaller fish especially when I just catch what I'm going to eat. And, and a lot of times, this is me doing fish right here, just enough to have a little fry and be done with it. Um, I don't try to sain the creek every time I go. So thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.